according to Charlemagne the God, Kanye at some point in time, I'm assuming while Kim Kardashian was in the midst of her relationship, her situationship, whatever, entanglement with uh, Pete Davidson, of course, not a friend to the show, but I like Pete Davidson more now than I do Kanye West or Ye because he's not such an asshole. He's just guilty of being, you know, a uh, chick lit tooth having, doofy looking in the face having, depending on who you ask, funny or not, being big dick ass white boy, huge fucking cock. And as confirmed by Kanye of all sources, apparently, if this is true, what Charlemagne the God said about Kanye, Kanye reached out to Charlemagne the God to talk converse, conversate about Pete Davidson, Kim Kardashian being the new modern day Marilyn Monroe. We gotta save Kim. We gotta save Kim. She's the modern day Marilyn. Whatever, whatever. The whole thing goes left at some point when Kanye says, quote, as I'm reading this off the screen, my wife is fucking a white boy with a 10 inch penis and you're not gonna help me? You know, all in his feelings all entangled inside, deep inside, like I'm sure Kim's guts and vital organs were as soon as she got a hit off that dick off Pete Davidson, which apparently at some point Ariana Grande, who, funny enough and ironic enough, Ariana Grande ate so grande, boom, ching, dad joke, I know. She's a tiny girl, very skinny, petite and cute, no question in that, and very talented. Shouts to Ariana Grande. I'm an Ariana hater, whatever you call the fan hive for Ariana Grande. But... She's not so big, so in comparison to an alleged, presumably confirmed by various sources, 10-inch white cock, she ain't that much bigger than that thing, so it might have been huge to her, but then I don't know how tall necessarily Pete Davidson is, but I think 10 inches as far as the girthiness, the lengthiness of a cock, regardless of who, it's, uh, who it belongs to or who it pertains to, that's still a big fucking piece. Pause, of course. To hear 10 inches coming out of my mouth is big. I'm just saying, you think about it, it is because, you know, uh, just under a foot, a foot long sub at Subway is legit 12 inches. You know I mean, you can ask Jared, he knows about that. But then, you know, 12 inches for like naughty use as far as the kids are concerned, that's terrible. But here's the thing, though. Of all things for Ye to be worried about, Kanye, whatever, it's very sad that this man can confirm himself or validate seemingly that 10 inches is huge coming from a black man because the black men are stereotypically known to own and possess the BBC. Of course, shout out to all the BBC owners out there or, or the big cock boys, I guess you could call them. I, unfortunately, no shame whatsoever, but then again, maybe I shouldn't be so out with it as far as having seen Kanye's cock, you know, back when. Shout outs and fuck you to the Shade Room, of course, because they were the ones guilty of providing that link Back when, years ago and shit, they provided that source as far as the actual image of Kanye's cock because he shared that with some thought, some hoe, some uh, probably before Instagram, probably like some MySpace baddie. They shared his um, dick pic with. I saw it. I clicked the link. Oh, my God, that shit is girthy and black. Of course, no surprise. Uh, Kanye's a black man, duh. But then his energy, his, you know, the way he's moving nowadays might make you question if he sees himself as black or just himself or just an asshole. I don't know. But do assholes see skin color? Besides, you know, the pink fleshy part, because if you think about it, pussy is pink on regardless of the race, color, gender, creed, whatever. So are assholes, if you think about it, too. The assholes stay pink. Porn stars ask them. They bleach their assholes to make them look pristine and clean, I guess, when you do the ass-eating or the anal porn. So, like, it's a gaping hole that's looking back at you, but it's not disgusting or brown and crusty like an asshole I would assume would normally be. Pristine and clean and neat. Assholes of all things. But Ye is asking another man for help when it comes to another man's cock. So, three parties involved. If you throw Kim into the mix, it's four. It's a gangbang, pretty much. But... It's a three-way for poor old Kim, who I'm sure doesn't care as long as all of them are famous and well-known names. She's just taking it from every angle, every orifice, whatever. No shots at Kim per se, but come on. She got famous off of doing fucking porn. Homemade porn with Ray J of all things. Another fucking cock involved in this whole thing. I'm sure she's not going to belittle herself in her viewpoint of dealing with Charlemagne's cock. And then Charlemagne already cheated as per, you know, he confessed himself. So good on him for being loyal now after the fact with his wife and shit too. But that's besides the fact. 
The fact that Kanye can seemingly confirm that Pete Davidson, of all things, has a 10-inch cock, a 10-inch white cock. So white privilege in terms of penis. On top of that, too, maybe that's what's driving him so crazy. The fact that he can't get Pete Davidson's 10-inch white penis off his mind, can't keep it out of his mouth enough to be perturbed enough to say the things he said on Drink Champs, which, you know what, honestly, I'm not going to repeat because I do believe in freedom of speech to an extent. If it's done with malice and harm just because and you want to defend yourself under the cloak of freedom of speech, though, freedom of speech, that's bullshit. That's besides the fact that Kanye is an egomaniac. That's besides the fact that he's proven time and time again he's an asshole potentially using the death of his mother, who's it's already been almost 10 years since she passed, as an excuse, as a scapegoat for his behavior, for not being medicated, potentially not going through therapy, not getting professional help, whatever. All because he likes to see the color spectrum as bright and white as it is. He likes to pretend like it's a superpower. He, uh, what is he confirmed dyslexic? Uh, Gemini on top of that. So shout out to the Geminis. But of course, being a Virgo, I don't get along with Geminis. So I see right through the facades, the double-sided two-facedness of all Geminis. So I'm on to your fucking game, Geminis. But the real horror, the scary part of it all is, Ye is off the deep end. I'm kind of done even though I keep bringing him up every other episode or so with Ye, period. But it's sad to see the slow descent, mentally, of Kanye, Ye, or whatever he wants to go by as now, for the fact that he's so stuck, proverbially speaking, and pause as well, on Pete Davidson's 10-inch white cock, in and out of his wife, ex-wife, baby mama at this point now, who knows who can confirm really, in and out, the fact that they're on the rocks, they're not together anymore at this point, I believe that's the case. Pete's depressed. He's not with Kim no more. Kim's moving on to somebody else, most likely. Kim's losing weight just to lose weight to look good and reimagine and reshape literally the image of what defines a woman and how good she's supposed to look. According to Kim Kardashian, because now according, she, according to who you ask, she's a standard now, what women's supposed to look like. First, everybody's supposed to have a huge ass like Kim. And everybody went and copied it, got the BBLs and the weekends over in DR and whatever, whatever. Now, now they're snatching organs out of your body while they, you know, pump you full of your own fat in your ass just to have you have kidney failure later on or whatever the fuck happens as a result of trying to look like a woman. Now she's losing all this weight. She's saying, you know, oh, my my look back then wasn't so healthy or so wise to follow. So now look like me because I'm so slim. They're all messy. They're all a mess. Even Pete, too. I mean, because, you know, he's all over the place getting engaged to this one, going to that one, and piping this one, and talking to this one now, potentially, because off the strength of his big white cock. Can Kanye be any more guilty of being that shallow, that weak of a man, to the point where he can't admit he needs help mentally, emotionally, professionally, better yet said? It's enough already. You can't keep talking about another man's cock or you can't be the boy who cried wolf or in this case the cuck who cried help my wife can't handle 10 white inches of pure white cock because i can't deliver on my end or maybe because he does have unfortunately i can confirm too via you know the shade room he has his own big fucking cock to deal with and scrub and clean properly but maybe she was just tired of it and said you know what i'm going back to white just because I'm bored and now she got bored with him and now she's moving on to the next one potentially because already Pete's been moving on to what, um, what, what is it? Who was he talking to? Like Tom Brady's wife or something like that? God damn that boy don't fucking miss him. He don't, he doesn't rest. He doesn't give his fucking cock breathing room. He's cracking them pants open all the time and throwing off his boxes and just slapping everybody fucking silly within 10 inch fucking range and distance with his big white cock of all things so in a sense i understand but also kanye yay relax it's not your cock it's not your headache it's not your yours to worry about better yet said halloween havoc 2022 brought to you by me who this here on our fuck it there's a lot to think about just like kanye's always thinking about pete davidson's big white scary cock he's practically like the boogeyman on its own now, roaming these streets and taking your hoe one by one and taking your bitch and one by one slaying her and Xing her off his list. Believe me, it's scary enough out there. But now one more threat looming over us. A big, white, cocky, shaped, shadowed, 10 inches to be precise. But, you know, shadows, you know, stretch and bend. So, you know, it gets crazy like that. Yo, it's over. All right, it's over. It's over. Yeah. Move the mic. Move the mic. Thank you. 
All right.